So we are actually from Penang as a coffee roasters. As a science screen student, I have the interest in business, but I have no idea what, what kind of business do I want to do. So I spent about two years and in A-levels in uh, back in this third. I believe all those are like uh, experiences you have to gain over the years. And uh, even with uh, the theory, the practicality, both are very important. I believe that when you get to meet a lot of different people from different backgrounds, it does help you to gain the knowledge. Well, to be honest, I don't have a clue to open up my own business back then. Guys like me that have no idea what do I want to do in the, in the coming future, I believe this was the time that uh, we have to go to try out to different things that see whether what do we like to do or what we don't. So that was the time that more like a trial and error for all the young students slowly accumulate the experience that what do we want to do in the coming future. They definitely inspire me to work harder and uh, to explore new things. I enjoy the learning experience from my biology classes. Very kind teachers that actually assist us towards working on the assignments. So it was a pretty enjoyable time. And uh, for the facilities wise, usually after studies, I actually mingle around at the library. It was a very chill time and uh, you get to spend time to work on your assignments, your homework and studies, yeah. The learning environment, I think, is, it was pretty uh, competitive, I would say, because uh, a lot of others are very smart students in this third. So it was uh, very inspiring in a, in a way that uh, helped you to actually excel in your studies. My name is Spark. I studied A-Levels in Distant College 10 years ago. My goal when I studied there was to get good grades so that I can get scholarship when I go for my degree or so that I can get into the college that I want later on when after I study A-Levels. So during my study there, the lecturers, everyone really helped us get the grades that we want. They really give us a lot of help. So I still remember before the exam, so the lecturers also like give us extra class so that to help us to have the last push, we can perform well during the exams. It was really a great experience. Then what I appreciate most during I study in Digital College is really the friends that I meet there. <laughs> because like I meet a lot of like-minded friends when I study there. Then till now, like every year we still meet with each other. So it was one of the best experiences in my life. So I would like to take this opportunity to thank this third college for giving me such a great study experience. So we are actually from Penang as a coffee roasters. As a science screen student, I have the interest in business, but I have no idea what, what kind of business do I want to do. So I spent about two years and in A-levels in uh, back in this third. I believe all those are like uh, experiences you have to gain over the years. And uh, even with uh, the theory, the practicality, both are very important. I believe that when you get to meet a lot of different people from different backgrounds, it does help you to gain the knowledge. Well, to be honest, I don't have a clue to open up my own business back then. Guys like me that have no idea what do I want to do in the, in the coming future, I believe this was the time that uh, we have to go to try out to different things that see whether what do we like to do or what we don't. So that was the time that more like a trial and error for all the young students slowly accumulate the experience that what do we want to do in the coming future. They definitely inspire me to work harder and uh, to explore new things. I enjoy the learning experience from my biology classes. Very kind teachers that actually assist us towards working on the assignments. So it was a pretty enjoyable time. And uh, for the facilities wise, usually after studies, I actually mingle around at the library. It was a very chill time and uh, you get to spend time to work on your assignments, your homework and studies, yeah. The learning environment, I think, is, it was pretty uh, competitive, I would say, because uh, a lot of others are very smart students in this third. So it was uh, very inspiring in a, in a way that uh, helped you to actually excel in your studies.
My name is Spark. I studied A levels in Distant College 10 years ago. My goal when I studied there was to get good grades so that I can get scholarship when I go for my degree or so that I can get into the college that I want later on when after I study A levels. So during my study there, the lecturers, everyone really helped us get the grades that we want. They really give us a lot of help. So I still remember before the exam, so the lecturers also like give us extra class so that to help us to have the last push we can perform well during the exams it was really a great experience then what i appreciate most during i study in distant college is really the friends that i meet there <laughs> because like i meet a lot of like-minded friends when i study there then till now like every year we still meet with each other so it was one of the best experience in my life so i would like to take this opportunity to thank this third college for giving me such a great study experience Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. The Distant College 29th Convocation Classes of Years 2020 and 2021 will begin in a short while. In the meantime, please enjoy this brief video profiling Distant College. Datuk Sri Dr. Stephen Yap Leong Huat, Chairman Board of Directors. Tan Sri Datuk Dr. Chin Fook Wing, Acting President. Members of the Board of Directors. Professor Dr. Brian Imri, Chief Executive Officer. Staff members, honored graduates, distinguished parents, guests, ladies and gentlemen. A very good morning and warm welcome to the District College 29 Convocation Classes of Years 2020 and 2021. 
Today's ceremony is presided over by Dato Sri Dr. Stephen Yap Leong Huat, Chairman, Board of Directors. I declare the State College 29th Convocation 2021 open. Thank you, Datuk Sri Dr. Stephen Yap Leong Huat. To commence the proceedings of this ceremony, may I now call upon Datuk Sri Dr. Stephen Yap Leong Huat, Chairman, Board of Directors, to give his welcome address. Good morning to members of the State Board of Directors, members of the Management Committee, academic faculty and all the State staff, parents and graduates of Class of 2020 and 2021. Good morning and welcome. It is my great pleasure to express my congratulatory message to all the graduates today who will be conferred in this State College 29th E Convocation this morning. Representing the District Board of Directors, I extend my warmest congratulations to all who will be receiving degrees and certificates today and acknowledge the support that has helped you along the way. On top of that, we will be awarding the Chairman Trophy, President's Trophy for the deserving top student uh, performing graduates. Distance Quality Education Trust is in the form of people, processes, programs, infrastructure, industrial and community linkages. This is based on our core values, which remain significant in providing educational experience for students and staff alike in order for graduates to realize the outcome of learning, learning knowledge, skills, and values to achieve functional connectivity across all areas of human endeavor and to inspire success. To all the parents and family of our graduates and friends watching the ceremony online with us today, Let's celebrate the achievement together. Congratulations once again. Thank you, Dr. Sri Dr. Stephen Yap Leong Huat, for welcome speech. May I now call upon Professor Dr. Brian Imri, Chief Executive Officer, to give the graduation address. Dr. Siri, Dr. Stephen Yap Leong Huat, Chairman of the Board of Directors. Tan Sri Dato Dr. Chin Fo Gweng, Acting President, and other members of the Board of Directors, representatives from partner universities, distinguished guests, parents, staff members of the college, and most importantly, graduates of years 2020 and 2021. It's an honor to be here today and to share this celebratory moment with you. First and foremost, I would like to take this opportuni opportunity to congratulate all graduates on successfully completing this step in your educational journey. It is an important milestone in your life and we join with your families in being very proud of you. As you reflect upon your time at District College, I'm sure that you will recognize that your college experience not only allowed you to acquire knowledge, but also to be transformed in the process. For many of you, your experience over the last two years may be considered similar to the metamorphosis that a caterpillar go goes through as it transforms into a butterfly. In the darkest of times, the pandemic, you persevered. It was often a lonely journey as you were unable to hang out with your friends on campus, study, to study together in the library, or pitch your skills on the badminton or basketball courts. In the midst of the pandemic, and often studying online, you overcome 
you overcame the many academic challenges placed before you. You acquired a greater understanding of your strengths and how to leverage them to achieve your goal. I'm sure there were moments in your academic journey when you even questioned if you would reach this point. Such were the challenges placed before you. But you endured and today receive the reward of your struggle. You have demonstrated that you are resilient and ready to, uh, to claim your place in the world. Indeed, ladies and gentlemen, such has been the perseverance of these graduates that 25% of our bachelor degree graduates within years 2020 and 2021 are today receiving first class honours. If you've had the opportunity to observe someone preparing for a marathon, you will have noted their single-minded focus on training early in the morning, running many lonely miles, all focused upon achieving their singular goal. Is it painful? Yes, undoubtedly. But in life, the things which are truly valued are often earned through our personal endurance. Take a moment to reflect upon where the endurance to complete your studies came from. Undoubtedly, the support of your parents and the self-discipline they imparted had a role to play. As did the distant academic staff who pushed you to your limits. But the decision to persevere was yours alone. It was your journey. You imagined the future dug deep within yourself to over overcome any fear of failing. You pushed yourself to your limits to arrive here today at the culmination of the journey, your graduation day. While today is a time for you to celebrate, it is also a time to reflect and prepare for the challenges that life will undoubtedly bring uh, in the years ahead. While it may be comforting to think that persevering through a global pandemic is an anomaly in life's journey, the reality is that there will be many challenges in your life ahead. And the truly great human endeavor only ever happens when overcoming seemingly insurmountable obstacles. Now, more than ever, in the face of a global climate and societal challenges, it's our responsibility to continue to use our knowledge and influence for the betterment of society. Whether it be in your personal life, careers, or contributing to a greater societal good, I encourage you to dare to achieve greatly. As Robert Kennedy once said, only those who dare to fail greatly can ever achieve greatly. Passionately pursue solutions to the challenges you encounter and collaborate with others to enact change. Start by doing what's necessary, then do what is possible, and suddenly you will find that you're doing the impossible. Wherever life leads, I trust you will always remember that you are alumni of District College, which has been a beacon of hope, excellence, and integrity since its establishment as Penang's first private college more than 34 years ago. Through the provision of generous scholarship schemes, the college has nurtured many bright minds from different backgrounds, cultures, and nationalities who may not otherwise have been able to access higher educational opportunities. Through its emphasis upon nurturing creative problem solving, the college has provided a platform for practical, impactful ideas to grow, with our graduates highly sought after by employers and many having made significant contributions to society. Today you join this impressive list of alumni. Today I challenge you uh, to embark on a new expedition. I challenge you to leverage your education to not only build your professional reputation, but also pursue the opportunities that you've been granted for the betterment of you, your family and society. On behalf of District College, I once again give my sincere congratulations to all graduates. I know you have the fortitude to endure and succeed at the many challenges life will bring. Pursue your dreams, endure wherever they may take you.
Thank you, Professor Dr. Brian Imri, for your inspirational speech. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, we will now commence the conferment of awards for certificate and diploma programs. By the power vested in me by the Board of Directors, I confer upon graduates whose names has appeared in the convocation booklet the Certificate in Intensive English, Diploma in Accounting, Diploma in Business Studies, Diploma in Business Information Technology, Diploma in Computer Science, Diploma in Creative Multimedia Production, Diploma in Electrical and Electronic Engineering, Diploma in Food and Beverage Management, Diploma in Hospitality Business Management, and Diploma in Hotel Management. Certificate in Intensive English, 2020 graduates, Chan Hang Hong. Shalane Kui Kai Sing Chua Xiao Yuan Lo Chi Hong Patrapon Ruing Jan Raymond Lim Wei Chun Tan Ping Hong Tan Sin Ro Tiong Li Sin 2021 graduates Cassandra M. Shet Ni Denise Heng Mei Lin Law Su Shin Liao Shu Chin Ronald Neo Chen Yi Te Sue Jing Wu Li E Yvonne Ng Yu Wen Diploma in Accounting 2020 graduates Chiu Yu Suan Chin Xin Yi Chong Jun Jie Chua Ting Ni Chua Yi Suan Chong Zi Ying Dashini Anak Perempuan Subar Maniam Elvis Chua Keng Heng Goe Yi Mei Hui Ke Teng Jaya Tarani Anak Perempuan Jaga Thiesen Lam Ling Min Li Li Ying Li Shi Pei Li Yi Ching Lim Chiu Ni Lim Sing Ying Lim Suan Ru Lim Ying Louis Yong Jin Ng Yuan Ling Ong Yong Ling Ho Chia Yi Sun Ming Wei Sun Zi Ching Tae Jo Lin 
Te Wen Wei To Zen Ching Yo Shu Ji Two Zero Two One Graduates Adelia J D Yo Xiao Yue Be Jia Qi Christina Chua Chia Min Chua Shu En Fong Yu Ching Giru Beharan Anak Lelaki Ramani Heng Hui Ying Isabel Miranda Li Jie Ying Lian Yu Chao Lim Chun Jie Lim Hong Hang Ong Hui Jin Wei Wei Song Tse Wei Tang Yu Wei Tio Chen Yi Tam Mei Zi Divya Rajeswaran Divya Shni Anak Perempuan Kangga Teren Diploma in Business Studies 2020 Graduates Amelia Lam Chin Ying Angelia Ui Wei Ling Brina Tan Jia Hui Chiong Huan Che Chiu Wen Xue Chiu Xue Zi Cheng Kang Zi Chong Ken Win Connie Wong Ge Ching Darian Tang Wei Chuang Debbie Tio Sin Jo Go Hui Sin Doris Go Ke Ro Ho Zi Kun Javen Go K Yuan Ko Zi Hui Kong Xiang He Lo Jolin Li Chun Kiet Li Zi Sheng Lim Jia Leong Lim Yi Kang Lim Yi Ting Lim Yong Wei Lo Chun Liang Nicole Tay Ong Bi Ting Ong Sin Yi Ong Sweat Yi Wu Shu Hang Pak Kit Chin Perry Kwa Yi Chen Richie Wong Sheng Jie Sally Chen Chia Chi Samuel Sun Chuang Rong Saraswati Anak Perempuan Lecumanan 
cerdas. Syamini anak perempuan Maria Mutu. Sun Jun Ming. Tam Yen En. Tan Wei Liang. Te Kai Jie. Te Wei Ji. Vanessa Wu Hui Yi Big Nash Anak Lelaki B. Mohan Vincent Lim Rong Shen Wong Tong Sin Yo Chia Xuan Yo Won Ni Zui Pei Sun 2021 Graduates Aloysius Ko U Chia Amanda Tan Pei Ru Ang Sin Ye Ba Yi Liang Chan Ka Yin Cheng Chi Shan Cindy Chiu Chu Ching Chiu Jia Wei Chiu Rong He Cheng Sheng Jie Choi Yu Geng Chong Jia Jin Cho Nian Hui Chua Yun Ni Edmund Yu Elena Ong Li Yen Fu Ru Bie Gan Bun Ping Geraldine Chong Lu Yen Galin Te Jings Yi Go Wen Min Ho Man Chong Jillian Wong Ka Lei John Lucas Anak Lelaki John Francis Kabila Shini Anak Perempuan Jaga Thesan Kek Ken Hang Kelly Chan Chia Ke Kuei J. Shen Kong Jin Li Lam Chien Hen Li Hui Ying Li Yi Fei Lim Jia Liang Lim Chi Hui Lim Siong Mao Lim Shao Heng Lim Sheng Jung Lim Suet Ying Lim Yong Sam Lo Chi Hong Lo Lin Fun Ng Ji Xiang Ng Xiao Jie 
Ng Yong Chi. Nicole Fei Gomez. No Shazwin Binti Muhammad Ansari. Ang Li Ro. Po Zi Xian. Robert Lo Jack Nin. Roland Chong Lu Tzu. Ronan Ui Jun Han. Rose Maria, anak perempuan Philip Brandon. Roshan, anak lelaki Maran. Samantha Tio Wei Yi. Xiao Chui Wen. Xiao Ro An. Sean Yip Jia Jun. Sun Shi Ping. Sri Saraswati Anak Perempuan Ramesh. Tan Jing Di. Tan Joey. Tan Min Yu. Tan Wen Di. Tan Yun Ru. Te Jiao Fei. Tio Yong Shen. Tiao Hong Yi. Yong Kai Liang. To Hong Yi. To Yu Ning. Unique. Ui Kiet Ling Vianna Cheng Kai E Wan Yi Kang Wong Ka Yi Wong Chiao Yi Yaganesh Anak Lelaki Kalidas Yasmin Ho Yi Min Yo Jing Heng Yo Jun Yi Diploma in Food and Beverage Management 2020 Graduates N Tan Shen Chia Banisha Anak Perempuan Kathy Resen Deborah Rani Anak Perempuan Ilang Govan Go Yam Hui Lim Kai Sin Kwa Ai Ying 2021 graduates Eva Chia Sin Ying Jonas Wong Ju Teng Kasilan Naidu Anak Lelaki Baska Lim Sok Wen Ng Jo Yan Ng Yi Ting Ng Zi Jie To Shao Hang Diploma in Hospitality Business Management 2020 Graduates Bei 
心令，车衣令，车子呀，冲音声，竹篱子尾。Josephine, O Hui Ling, Liang Ka Yan, Lim Ming Sheng, Lo Wei Sheng, Ui Si Feng, Santa Yulia. Tan Chia Min, Tan Xiao Hui, Tio Cheng Hui, Tio Chin Yao, Tu Yujin, Tu Zero Tu One Graduates. Debbie Wibowo, Kathleen Naing, Kirati Harakun Jerawat, Lai Vini, Ng Chin Ping, Ng Kai Yu. No Diana Tan Ong Yu Shen Ong Su Mei Rosini Anak Perempuan Tamayetram Shariman bin Muhammad Kamil Shoko Tezuka Diploma in Hotel Management 2021 Graduates Adam Lim Ba Jian Wei Be Zen Min Cheong Li Ting Jaslyn Lim Ching Sun Ku Jia Ying Ku Si Min Ko Chin Fa Li Hui Mei Li Li Jing Liang Jia Yun Lim Hui Yi Niu Shi Yi Ang Joey Ang Ke Yun Ang Zhou Yi Russell Tan Ji Hong Sim Cheng V Te Tan Pei Yi Tan Su Ling Te Ju Lin Yu Zi Hui Diploma in Business Information Technology 2020 Graduates Devanesh Anak Lelaki Arunagiri Gagan Prit Ko Gil Anak Perempuan Hapal Singh 
กาเบเลียพันลิมฮองยิกมินไพซุนตู้ซีโร่ตู้วันกราดูเอตส์คาเซนดราซุนเพย์ยิงคอร์นิเลียสชิวเจนวันโคเชียเจียลีเยวันลูเซนฮันนาวินอาณาลักีบาลามูร์กันอังวันกีทานิอาสรีอาณาพรหมพันสังกาดิบยาชนีรามามูร์ตีวุ่นยิ่สวนดิปโลมาอินคอมพิวเตอร์ไซน์สตู้ซีโร่ตู้ซีโร่กราดูเอตส์บรายน์โยซูยูเคลวินชาวชองยิ่สวนดัชนีรันอาณาลักษณ์รับินดรันเจมส์อองรุยมิงคีรันอาณาลักษณ์บาลาคริชนันคิงสวีจิงโมเวยฮัง Neo Wei Quan, Ui Keng Hong, Pavitra Anak Perempuan Ramanathan, Shashi Darren Anak Lelaki Mohana, Tang Jun Ye. Two zero two one graduates. Chiu Wen Hui, Chong Yong Yi, Gan Wei Heng, Go Jian An, Hong Jian. Kenzon Yu, Lim Ho Yong, Lim Sin Yan, Lim Yi Ning, Lok Chong Huang, Marcus Ting Kok Yao. Martin Xia Su Xuan, Ong Ting Feng, Ui Yi Hun, Kua Hui Ying, Ronald Cheng Yong Hen, Tan Su Hong. Tang Jun Kwan, Yong Wei Ming, To Kai Shen, Viva Ganandan Pilai, Anak Lelaki S Ravi, Yo Ka Ying. Diploma in Creative Multimedia Production. Two zero two zero graduates. Alexis Changjia Ying. 
Chia Liet Lin Chia Xin Ji Chong Shu Yin Jordan Ui Rik Yang No Azara Kistina Binti Mohammad Hazri Septi Sonia Anak Perempuan Prem Kuma 2021 Graduates Andrew Lee Cheng Yang Avin Anak Lelaki Prama Sivan Chi Kian Yang Elaine Lau Zi Ying Elaine Saw Mei Hui Ho An Chi Lim Yan Ke Lok Tek Guan Maharan Jinni Anak Perempuan Ravi Chandran Ong Yu Hui Tan Zi Yong Yi Chia Suan Diploma in Electrical and Electronic Engineering 2021 Graduates Chang Chia Kai Paramasudan Anak Lelaki Ravendran Thank you Dato Sri Dr. Stephen Yap Leong Huat Ladies and Gentlemen Each convocation, the best diploma and degree graduates are selected to receive the District College Chairman and President Trophies respectively the President's Trophy, which comes together with the book prize of RM1000 ringgit, is awarded to the diploma graduate who has attained the highest level of academic achievement. I am honoured to call upon Tan Sri Dato Dr. Chin Fu Weng, Acting President, to present the President's Trophy and book prize to the best diploma graduate, Ms. Law. Jolene from the Diploma in Business Studies program. Thank you, Dato Sri Dr. Chin Fu Wen. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great honor to now call upon Professor Liz Barnes. Vice Chancellor, Staffordshire University, to give her address. Hello, I'm Professor Liz Barnes, Vice Chancellor and Chief Executive of Staffordshire University. On behalf of our globally connected university, it gives me great pleasure to join Distard College and Professor Dr. Brian Emery on this very special day and to congratulate each of you on your achievement. This has been a year like no other and you are graduating in an uncertain world, a world rocked by the global COVID-19 pandemic. However, we recognise that you have already overcome significant challenge to complete your studies, and you are equipped with the skills, knowledge and internationally recognised qualification to excel in our changed world. Our university is committed to delivering high quality education across the world, this is a source of great pride that we are included in the Times Higher Education World University Rankings, which recognises the world's leading research universities. We began working with Distead in 1997, and we pride ourselves on shaping graduates who are equipped to take on the challenges and careers of tomorrow. The pandemic has tested the resolve of our institutions and students and shown us what we are capable of. I hope we can all learn from this and be stronger for it. 
I have no doubt that you will take what you have learnt and your experiences and join thousands of curious and daring Staffordshire University alumni from around the world who are changing their industries, sectors and societies for the better. As Vice-Chancellor, I have had the pleasure of meeting with alumni who have gone on to achieve great things. It gives me enormous pride that our graduates from Staffordshire University and Distead College are transforming communities and contributing to our university's global reputation. Please always remember that wherever your future leads and whatever you go on to achieve, you are now Staffordshire University, university alumni and an important part of our connected university community. Our goal is to make every one of our students proud to be staffs and I have no doubt that you will make us proud of you. Enjoy your special day. Thank you Professor Liz Barnes for your insightful speech. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, we will now proceed with the conferment of bachelor degrees. In the absence of the vice chancellors from our partner universities, Staffordshire University and Hub University, Datuk Sri Dr. Stephen Yap Leong Huat will now confer these awards on their behalf. By the power vested in me by the Board of Directors, I confer bachelor degrees upon the graduates whose names has appeared in the convocation booklet. The Bachelor of Arts, Honours, Accounting and Finance, Bachelor of Arts, Honours, Marketing Management, Bachelor of Arts, Honours, International Business Management, Bachelor of Arts, Honours, Events Management, Bachelor of Arts Honours, Business Management and Bachelor of Psychology Honours. Bachelor of Arts Honours, Accounting and Finance 2020 Graduates First Class Honours Ao Yang Li Wei Jin Kim Liang Jen Pei Gi Munisha Kubera Laksmi Anak Perempuan Ramis Ui Jo Wee Ui Yun Xuan Sim Kai Suang Yin Jing Wen This concludes the first class honours list. Alice Ng Ji Shing Bashira Aini Binti Shaikh Abbas Ali Be Ming Ying Chiu Yi Jia Delsi Baro Anak Perempuan Ellen Esti Sing Jing Wen Go Min Wen Lo Ka Wei Rachel Ko Yunis Rubashni Anak Perempuan Kumara Belu Sri Pren Anak Lelaki Buminaden T. I. Lin Tio Jia Yin Tirasini Anak Perempuan Maria Mutu Tibiyasri Kamala Laksmi Anak Perempuan Ramis Wang Jing Yi Yap Ying Yu 2021 Graduates First Class Honours Jia Yuan Qian Chiu Suet Yin Dinah Grace Anak Perempuan Raymond Patrick Kaliswari Anak Perempuan Nama Chibayam Ko Tin Yin Kugan Anak Lelagi Jaga Tisan Leong Ka Yi Lim Ning Sien Lim Pei Sien Ng Jia Sin Mushafana Fatima Binti Shahul Hamid Ong Jie Siang So Chin Ching So Lei Ting Benuga Anak Perempuan Sabaraju Yap Feng Chi this concludes the first class honours list. Ang Wai Ying Anjo Lim Xuan Ro Be Hui Ling Cheryl Li Lai Ling Lam Zi Xian Lao Kai Xin 
林惠美、林佩平、林秋文、王秋汉、魏敦恒、魏万金、苏尼莎奈、安娜·彭欢、比西巴·斯卡兰、戴尤轩。Bachelor of Arts Honours Marketing Management, 2020 graduates, First Class Honours, Chu Jian Chin, Lao Jia Ying, Tan Su Quan. This concludes the First Class Honours list. Jia Yuan Ye, Chen Yonghui, Zhang Yongni, Zhua Wei Hong. Gui Chun Xiang, Gao Chun Xiang, Ko Chi Han, Ko Wei Yi, Lao Si Fei, Li Jie Long, Li Mao Zhen, Lian Yi Fei, Lim Ke Xin, Wei Ji Hao, Tan Qin Wen, Tan Jun Li, Tan Min Jia. Tang Ke Xin, Vivian Chiu Ke Ying, Yong Xin Hui. 2021 graduates, first class honors, Jia Shai Ling. This concludes the first class honors list. Bu Hui Mei, Chan Yi Lin, Jia Yi Ling, Zhong Song Yuan, Chua Kai Bing, Clinton Chua Chi Hin, Ko Jing Yi, Lo Jing Yi, Na Shun Jun, No Amira Binti Abdul Jaffa, Tai Li Liang, Te Hui Shan. Bachelor of Arts Honours, International Business Management, 2020 graduates, First Class Honours. Elizabeth Ku Wun Lin, Kyo Fen Fen, Li Jun Ning, Tan Yi Wen. This concludes the first class honors list. Ang Ki Min, Ang Ping Xuan, Ashwin Li Zhi Hao, Jiang Yi Wen, Chiu Chun King, Chiu Ho Jun, Jia Shik Hao. Christopher Ku Ting Su, Clement Tan Jia Hao, Derry Yap Ching Chong, Go Wan Rong, Ivan Kok Ching Jin, Janice Lim Jia Hui, John Tan Zi Yuan, Junior Sugita Nami, Anak Perempuan Michael Rajmuti, Karunya Devi Anak Perempuan Ramasami, Ku Shu Liang, Gong Mei Ting, Kua Zi Yang, Lai Min Min, Li Cheng Ni, Li Kang Nian, Li Wei Yi, Lim Ji Sam, Lim Kim Tik, Lo Chun Fong, Lu Jia Qi, Mong Shu Ting, Nara Nakashtari Anat Lelaki Jawahar, Ng Zan Yi, Ong Chong Chen, Peggy Chua Pei Chi, Peng Chun Jet, Ryan Brandon Joseph, Tan Huan Jia, Te Sin Chi, Tusha Nandini Anak Perempuan Kupusami, William Yap Chun Leong, Yap Yi En, Yo Won Yin. 2021 Graduates First Class Honours Kelvin Wei Chao Xuan Felicia Hiu Jia Ning Hu Jin Moon Lu Hong Sheng Lorenzo Go Kai Yi O Kai Li Tan L Wei Tan Xin Pei This concludes the First Class Honours list. Carmen Fong Jia Yin Jia Pei Shan, Ching Jia Jun, Chua Chuan Gi, Jordan Lee Zong Yu, 
Lau Si Wen, Lim Wei Han, Lim Sin Yi, Nesandrev Anat Laki Murali, Ng Hui Ying, Nuru Aisha Akasha Binti Sukanai, Priscilla Ling Yu Ching, Shane Wong Ken Lee, So Yi Ren, Tan Jia Xing, Tang Qin Liang, Wong Yin Ching, Wu Wen Bin. Bachelor of Arts Honours, Events Management. First Class Honours, 2020 Graduate, O Chin Ni. This concludes the First Class Honours list. Bachelor of Arts Honours, Business Management, 2020 Graduate, Kanga Devi Anak Prompuan, MK Mataban. Bachelor of Psychology, Honours. 2020 graduate, first class honours, Remy Tan Teng Shen. This concludes the first class honours list. Chiu Jia Ming, Christine Tan Yin Xian, Damien Chiao Zi Yang, Dukan Anthony Anak Prompuan Ganison, Go Ke Sin, Jonathan Yong Hong En, Kelvin Tan Jun King. Lim Yi Sing, Megan Ann Tessera, Neo Hui Min, Ong Ka Man, Tio Chen Xiang, Yong Po Ling. 2021 graduates, first class honours, Michelle Lee, Wong Ke Shin. This concludes the first class honours list. Eddie Suhaimi bin Aslan Chong, Ang Zi Shan, Cassandra Neo Ke Zi, Cassandra Sin Benson, Christina Wong Zi Man, Chua Boon Hui, Fate Kong Yue Yin, Go Zi Wei, Li Siu Jing, Li Yan Yi, Lok Hing Hap, Ui Yi Jie. Ruby Tho En Mei, Yeo Yi Jia, Yuki Chin Xue Yi. Thank you, Dato Sri Dr. Stephen Yap Leong Hua. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, as mentioned within Professor Imri's address, an astonishing numbers of our bachelor degree students have graduated this year with first class honors in their respective specialization. Their achievement is recorded within the convocation booklet. We will now proceed with the awarding of the Chairman's Trophy, which is awarded at each convocation to the graduate who has achieved the highest level of academic achievement within their bachelor degree studies. The recipient will also receive a 1,000 ringgit book prize. I am honoured to call upon Dato Sri Dr. Stephen Yap Leong Huat, Chairman of the Board of Directors, to, to award the Chairman's trophy and a book prize to the best bachelor degree graduate, Ms. Diana Grace Anaprompuan Raymond Patrick, from the Bachelor of Art Honours, Accounting and Finance Program. Thank you, Dato Sri Dr. Stephen Yap Leong Huat. Ladies and gentlemen, within each convocation ceremony, a valedictorian is selected based upon both their academic merit and contribution to the wider campus community during their period at Distant College. I present to you this year's valedictorian, Ms. Diana Grace Anaprompuan Raymond Patrick, enrolled in the Diploma in Accounting program in the year 2017. Upon completion of her Diploma program, Diana continued her studies within the Bachelor of Arts, Honours, Accounting and Finance program. As you have just witnessed, 
She is the recipient of this year's Chairman's Trophy, having attained a cumulative grade point average of 3.95 with her bachelor degree studies. Diana was an active member of the campus community, particularly within the Indian Cultural Society, ICS. Currently, Diana is working in Flex, a global supply chain and manufacturing solution provider as a financial analyst. Ms. Diana Grace Anaprompuan Raymond Patrick will now deliver her valedictorian address on behalf of the graduating classes of years 2020 and 2021. Good morning, members of the Board of Directors, Professor Dr. Brian C. Emery, the CEO of Distant College, distinguished guests, faculty members, fellow graduates, ladies and gentlemen. I'm truly honoured to be here before you today to deliver my valedictorian speech for the class of years 2020 and 2021. To begin, I would like to congratulate my fellow classmates on achieving this important milestone. Looking back at my years at Distant, I can honestly say that there is no better college that is replete with so many wonderful faculty members who are absolutely dedicated in supporting students in fulfilling their lifetime purposes. In addition to the engaging plan lesson, which bestowed upon me the requisite knowledge required to excel within the accounting profession, one lecturer took it a step further, Ms. Asnida. She went above and beyond by helping me to fulfill my dream of becoming an accountant. She helped me with my resume, guided me on the company I should select to undergo my industrial training. She also encouraged me to step out of my shell as the shy girl I once was to be the confident, mature woman who stands before you today. Walt Disney once said, all our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. For each of the graduates receiving their awards today, the, re the realization of our personal ambition began when we opened our college acceptance letter. We envision ourselves becoming accountant, business professional, psychologist, software developers, chef, and many more. As a distant college graduates, these dreams are now within the reach. Distant is known for being the small college of big dreams where we spend years developing our knowledge in our focus area to enable our dreams to become a reality. Today, we take the final step in our college experience. Our hard work, long hours of study, and constant stress has finally paid off. It is time to take the knowledge we have gained and apply what we have learned and take the next step in our journey. For some, that may be the continuation of their study. To others, it is the start of their chosen profession. Whichever the case may be, I wish all fellow graduate all the happiness and fortune this life may bring. At this time, I would like to thank several important members of my life that either encouraged or supported me through this incredible journey. Two people in particular taught me the value of education and gave me the building blocks needed to become a successful woman. They encouraged me in all of my endeavors, provided me with emotional support, and spoke highly of me to anyone who would like, who would listen. Amma and Daddy, that's how I address them. Thank you for all your hard work, support, and love throughout these difficult and exciting years. I love you very much. This next person has stood by me every day, helping me when I thought I could no longer push forward. Thanks, Jessica, for always listening, offering words of encouragement, and guiding me to be the best I can be. To my friends, who I spend countless hours with, studying together, for tests, proofreading each other's work, and making memories that will last a lifetime. These few individuals, you know who you are. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. I could not have done it without you all. Now, I would like to thank Distant College for giving me the opportunity of developing my education and providing me with a safe learning environment, dedicated staff, and encouraging atmosphere. Our heartfelt thanks to Ms. Asnida, Ms. Yugas, Ms. Tong Peishan, Ms. Liu Sui, Ms. Tan Sulin, Mr. Yap, and Mr. Loga, who gave us the motivation to go beyond our capabilities and provided us with the tools needed to achieve our goals. I would also like to thank the Indian Culture Society, ICS, who lightened up the college with events from a Thaipusam Anandanam celebration in front of Distant College to the annual dinner. These joyful and exciting activities added the fun element to my college life. When I was asked to be a valedictorian, I had no idea where to begin 
While sitting in my room talking to my sister about what I wanted to share with each of you today, my sister told me, I cannot believe how far you have come. I'm so proud of you and then it hit me. Thus, I wanted to share a little bit of my story with you. Growing up, I was never be the best or the brightest student. I had average grades. I pursued my studies in Australia for medicine and it did not go as well as expected due to health issue. Then my parents enrolled me in an accounting program at Distant College. Their decision have never been wrong. And after attending the second week of class, I cried in the class for not knowing what is even debit and credit. Then I met this one lecturer who changed my life forever. She handed me back a tutorial which I received 10 out of 100 and told me I could do much better than this if I tried. She inspired me and from that day forward, I believed her. I decided to put 110% into everything I did. And clearly you can see how that turned out. The point of my story is that we all can do great things when we put our all in it. We are stars. Graduates, it is about the time that we toast our virtual graduating caps in the air and say farewell to distant and hello to our prospective futures. We are the class of 2020 and 2021. It is time that we take our place in the world to be the best that we can possibly be and to become the role models of future generation. Graduation marks the, marks the end of yet another extraordinary chapter in our life. With this chapter closed, I'm certain that many of us are already anxious about starting the new one because, unlike an English book, we cannot skip through the pages of life to see how long the next chapter is going to be. We all have our own book of life that has not been written and yet every day that passes is another page we write. Luckily, as distant graduate, we have been given all the papers and ink needed to write our own story. And with the love and support of our family, friends, and fellow graduates, our story will become bestseller. Once again, congratulations to the class of years 2020 and 2021. Go forth into this world and do great things. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Diana Grace and Abrompuan Raymond Patrick. May we now invite Dato Sri Dr. Stephen Yap Leong Huat. Chairman of the Board of Directors to officially declare the e-convocation closed. We have come to the end of proceedings. Thank you for joining us for this State College 29th Convocation. I now declare this e-convocation closed. Thank you, Dato Sri Dr. Stephen Yap Leong Huat. Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to offer our heartiest congratulations to all our graduates and thank their family members, friends, and guests for your kind attendance. This concludes today's event. Thank you. <laughs>